Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the iAmiga Store Center iX2200. Now this particular unit is available in 1TB, 2TB and 4TB capacities. I'm looking at the 2TB one here for you. It's uh, basically a network attached storage device so it connects via Ethernet and it offers RAID 1 and JBOD modes. Also it supports uh, SMB, CIFS, NFS, AFP, FTP and HTTP protocols. Now what you get inside the box is you get the unit itself. You also get an Ethernet cable which allows you to connect the device to your network. You also get a power supply. This will vary depending on what country you're in but we've got a 3 pin UK plug on one end and then obviously the jack connector that goes into the unit on the other. You also get a solution CD which contains some extra software as well as the uh, full manual for the product. And then we get a small uh, quick start guide here just to get you up and running. Now a brief tour around the unit. We have got um, a on off switch on the front here. Some various LED lights for uh, Ethernet connectivity, hard disk activity and error light. We've also got a USB port on the front and then a little button just above that USB port. And what that button does is it allows you to actually uh, connect perhaps a memory stick and copy the contents over from the memory stick onto the hard drive. Side is completely blank as is this side and it's a nice brushed sort of metal casing to it. Around the back we've got a further two USB ports so you can use these for connecting additional storage or perhaps a printer. And then we've got the Ethernet socket which supports up to gigabit Ethernet. And then down the bottom here is where you plug in that power supply. At the top here is a Kensington lock so you can add a security device if you need to tether it perhaps to a desk. Now these are where the two hard drives are stored. Unfortunately you can't just pull these out. You do need to release these screws on the bottom first. So if you do have a hard drive fail, then you need to undo the screws and then pop the caddy out to gain access to the hard drives. So what this allows you to do is instead of having a hard drive connected locally and just accessible by one computer, you can connect it to your network and then any computer on your network, be it wireless or wired, can access the files on here and you can also access them across an internet connection with that HTTP service. You can even connect up to seven axis network security cameras to the unit so if you're into that sort of thing you need that functionality then the iX2 does offer it. Now I'm going to take a look at how easy this device is to configure and show you a short screencast video uh, on how you configure this using a standard uh, internet browser. So once you've got the iOmega iX2 connected up to your network the easiest way to access its settings is to install and launch the iOmega Store Center application. This launches your browser and you're presented with this really nice user interface. You can also access this same page by keying in the IP address of your device in your browser's address bar up here. So on the home page we can access the shared storage, we can search, backup and restore, manage torrent downloads, add users, add shared storage and also view printers. This is just the most common features that are easily accessible from this home tab. If I click on dashboard this gives me an overview of the space usage on the device and also extra device information here. I can even view the hardware status and this gives me the system temperature and details of if the internal fans running. In addition to this I can also restart the device, shut it down or blink the lights on the unit. If I click on the users tab here you can see I've just got one user set up that's myself with administrator access. I can add extra users by clicking this button down here. The shared storage tab 
is where you can set up extra folders on the device. At the moment I have one set up for backups, one for public access and one for my time machine backups. I can add extra ones by clicking this button down here. And in the settings tab this is where you can gain full access to the device. This is where you can configure backup and restore, date and time, device setup, disk management, email notifications and the list goes on and on. It's all very nicely presented and very configurable indeed. But I hope that this section of the video has given you a brief overview of the user interface for the iAmiga iX2. Now let's go back to the main review. Well I hope that configuration video was helpful. What I like about the Store Center iX2200 is it's got a rock solid build quality. The fast file transfers are really good and for Mac users time machine support is very welcome. Other big plus points are the torrent download manager, the picture transfer protocol where I can connect a digital camera to this front port and automatically transfer the photos to the unit without even touching the computer is a real boon. What I don't like is the pricing. They need to be a little bit more competitive uh, on the price front. For the one terabyte model it's going to cost you £169 in the UK or $200 in the US. For the two terabyte version you're going to be paying £225 or $310 and for the four terabyte model you're going to be paying a whopping £410 or $525 and that is quite an investment. In addition to that I did also experience a few problems where the uh, unit would drop off of my network so I'd lose connectivity to it although that did improve over time. That said, you do get what you pay for and the iX2200 does deliver some excellent features and some very good performance figures. Well, thanks very much for listening. This has been Dave from Geekanoids. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK with a price promise guarantee.